Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday morning. I'm about to go out on my long run today, and I have 18 miles today. I'm about almost six weeks into my training, and um, it's going good. Uh, yesterday, not yesterday, last week I did 17 miles, and it went pretty well. Um, I am wearing a knee brace today because my, as you guys saw my video last week, my knee has been bothering me and I've been giving it rest and trying to let it heal. Um, but it's just one of those things that I don't know uh, if I'm gonna be able to really let it heal 100% um, during the training, but um, I'm trying the best I can. So hopefully the brace will help me out and we'll see. So I got, yeah, 18 miles today. I'm going to try to do it in less than three hours, which would be nice. So um, anyway, I'm going to have you guys join me on this run. I'm going to be staying close to my house today. I'm just kind of running around my, the vineyards here. and um, It's foggy out, which I was hoping it would be sunny and it's cold. It's like 36 degrees. <sighs> so yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I am on mile four, feeling really good. I'm running at about 9.30 pace. The fog is getting a little thicker, which is kind of, I don't really like running in the fog, it's kind of dangerous, but I'm feeling good. Um, I, I usually listen to music when I run on my long runs and I've been having trouble like finding music that lasts like three hours that keeps me like entertained I guess so what I did was I found podcasts and I'm actually listening to um, ultra running podcast right now and it's awesome Whew. let me stop for a second it's hard to run and talk so I'm listening to this ultra running podcast and sorry it's making me want to go out and run a 50 mile race so that's kind of cool. But um, so a suggestion for you runners out there on your long runs, if you get bored of your music, um, try listening to podcasts. There's, there's podcasts on like everything you can think of, like music or science or uh, running, other sports. Um, and it's really helping me stay distract distracted from how I'm feeling. And you're also learning something. So. Anyway, mile four. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Feeling good. Let's do this thing. Pretty Richards. It's so pretty here. Pretty day. Hey guys. All right, just. Made a little potty break at my house and uh, got some raisins. I'm gonna pop these. That's good. It's actually my first time trying raisins as a, a running snack. They're uh, pretty much all carbs and sugar. They have some potassium in them too. So I think they're gonna be a great little fuel snack. Um, so I'm on mile 10. I'm feeling really good. My knee's not hurting today. I think this brace is really helping. Um, I'm loving listening to podcasts. I feel like my mind isn't focused on uh, my running as much and, and just more kind of, I don't know, letting my mind wander a little bit. So that's nice. But uh, anyway, it finishes off. And uh, I'll see you guys at the finish line. We did it. 18 miles in the boots. Woo, walking back to my house. <clears throat> Great run today, guys. The sun just broke through the fog. I uh, set two new records today. My fastest uh, half marathon, and uh, which was under two hours, and my longest run of 18 miles, so feeling pretty good um, I started taking these pills um, 
that I saw online um, called, I actually saw it through a YouTube training video, marathon training video of a girl who, who um, trained for a marathon in 10, 10 weeks, had never run a marathon in her life and she qualified for Boston. And before the race she took these uh, supplements called, uh, I think they're called runner's legs. And what they are is they're basically just lactic acid and you take them about 30 minutes before your run and they help your body um, not build up as much lactic acid so your muscles don't get that burn as quickly as they usually do on your long runs. Um, so I started taking those on my long runs and let me tell you, they are a miracle. They are a life saver. Um, my legs can go a lot longer than they used to and uh, I truly believe in that product so if you guys haven't heard of it, I would definitely check it out. Um, you can get it on Amazon. Um, it's called Runner's Legs, I believe. Uh, definitely give those a shot if you're a long distance runner or ultra runner or even um, during other sports uh, that are take a lot of effort or a lot of time. So anyway, 18 miles down. Um, I was listening to a podcast while I was running that was very motivating. I'll drop the name of, of her in uh, the description here, but she was talking about uh, 2018, new year, new goals, and the name of her podcast is um, Quit Your Day Job, and how to um, turn your passions into profit, turn your passions into your work, I guess, and to you know live your life to the fullest and love your life, love what you're doing. And um, it was so motivating and she was just talking about how uh, to not be afraid of failure and if you are uh, making steps into what your passion is and what your goals are and taking those baby steps to make those things more of a reality, you're going to be successful and there's no such thing as failing if you're moving forward. So she just, you know, spoke to me and said, you know, because I've had my moments where I'm like, why am I running a marathon? You know, I can't, you know, there's so many other people out there who are better than me, so many other people out there who are faster than me, you know, who am I to try to, to run a marathon or to learn how to play the guitar or to become a singer, a songwriter, uh, a fitness trainer, all, those, all these things that I'm passionate about and that I want to do. I always doubt myself because you compare yourself to all the other people out there who are successful and you can't do that you know she was saying that if you want something bad enough you can have it it just takes the drive and the determination and this you know those first steps into making it a reality and you can't be afraid to fail otherwise you're just gonna go through life and regret it so anyways beautiful day I hope you guys get out there get a run in do something active um, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you like following my marathon journey or my other workout videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you in the comments of what you think about these videos and give me some advice or criticism on marathon training. I would love it. This is my first marathon, so I'll take anything I can get. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll talk to you later.